Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have something different, something cool. I mean, I think it's cool anyway. So this is the third ship that I built based on what I want the interior layout to be. The whole thing kind of started from the inside out. I plan out the layout, what kind of hubs I want, how I want to decorate the interior. And from there, then I started to kind of design the outside and try to make it as nice and aggressive as possible. So the interior of this build is definitely the highlight. So let's start there. Let's see the inside first. And then I take you guys to an overview of the ship, of the exterior. And at the end, I show you what parts you need, how to put it all together. And yes, I name it the party ship. The antenna layer of the ship is kind of split into a left wing and a right wing. And then there's the center, right? So we're going to go all the way to the back. Let me get on the first person first. We are here now at the back of the ship. We're going to go basically around. Okay, we're going to go to the left. We're going to go around and we're going to finish there. This section, this wing, I call it the captain's wing. And we start here with the captain's quarter. This is basically a two by two empty living quarters. And I turn it into this captain's quarters where we have the bedroom right here in the big section. So here's a creepy shot of my character staring at two female crew members sleeping at night. Giggity. Yeah. Anyway, so let's move on. I'm really happy how this turned out. I made this kind of wall using the displays. And the reason is because the actual wall is pretty ugly and it has these pipes going around it. So when, when you put a bed there, it just doesn't look right and there's plenty of space. I show you, I show you how I did it. It's very simple. So when you go to this place and the display shelf, I think it's the fourth one there. It's the fourth one. So I grab a few of those right and uh, i put them side by side so i align them and then i do another layer where i put another one that kind of covers the see-through area so and i just did like that across for the entire wall so i think it's like a maybe five or so one two three four five six so there's basically six and there's another five behind it that's how I did it. It looks, it turned out pretty good. You know, I really, I really like it. Actually, it looks more like a bedroom than anything. Then in this corner, there's a small room and this was turned into an office, basically. One of the new desks we got in the latest update. So I got that in there. I put a painting there to cover the wall because that wall is dirty, has a lot of dirt marks and it was really bothering me. So I put that in there. We have another display. Now this one is the same display, but I'm actually using it as a display with some wine in there. Then we come around, we have the other room here that I basically turn it into a, a living room. So not a lot of things done here, but it's kind of cozy. And then we link to another section. So we have a one by one companion way. And then we come into here. I call this, this is the captain's dining room. Is this necessary? Of course not. I mean, what kind of lunatic needs a dining table like this? I wanted to go into this luxury, high-end, opulent wealth type of design. So this is, this is what came out. And we have a lot of displays, some of the new paintings and posters and all that stuff. And this is just a dining area, just for the captain. I have another dining area for just for the crew that we're gonna see later on. So that's that. There's the center we're gonna go in later. We're gonna go keep finish the rest of the left wing. And because it's a major ship with a lot of luxury, there is has to be one kitchen, like a one dedicated hub that is a kitchen only. So this is this is what this is. So we have a lot of refrigerators. Well not a lot, just two, right? And uh, two sets of uh, cooking stations. This poster is pretty cool, you know, the butcher's best. I never knew where to put it. And finally, I have a reasonable location where this poster kind of makes sense. 
right in the kitchen so this is this is what this is and i put a couple of tables by the windows that's two bar tables and a regular table just it's kind of like a breakfast area you know for breakfast and things like that so now we're coming to this area this is a two by two cargo hall so it's completely open space no division and i turned this basically into a conference room so we have the big table with the chairs the monitors the whiteboard and i did here another display and it's just all wine there for celebrations or when you're out of ideas then you pop one of those and maybe you get some new ideas then here kind of like a secretary's desk a lot of places to sit a couple of stools and um, we have another couch sitting area by the way this hub has a is a little bit of a, a glitch so you see this caution on the floor i think they meant to remove this and they forgot because every time i put a carpet on the floor that caution will still show up like, let me show you what i mean let's grab a rug or anything right and you put it in here and then you end up having this caution still kind of showing up so i really tried to cover it there was no way to do it i wanted to have a path of carpets like i usually have in in other hubs right and i couldn't so hopefully hopefully they fix that I am running the, the latest version. This is not the beta update. Just an FYI, not a big deal. Just be aware of that. So that's why I kind of avoid it. I use a smaller one. I put it on the side. Otherwise, it looks very, very awful. So some coffee station, drink station, etc. over there. So now we're about to reach the middle. So this is what I like to do. You know, all, most of the hubs, I have this yellow carpet, yellow rug that goes all the way kind of makes everything look a little bit fancier. And at this hub here that leads uh, straight into the cockpit is the computer core, the control station, if you will. A couple of desks, uh, the research station. The research station is kind of like the only station that kind of the design looks like it, it matches the rest. I try to put the other workbenches and the designs, they just don't look right. So I ended up not using any of those. I'm going to go now to the next wing, which is the right wing. And that this is the battle station. This is the only hub that I kept it default and didn't do anything. A lot of things here are not available for you to, to put yourself. So I left this one completely the way it is. We come in here. This is a two by one. It's an empty computer core but I turn it into an armory type of thing. So with a lot of displays for helmets, mannequins with some of the suits and a lot of guns, you know, some of the legendary guns that I have that I don't use, I put the note over there. And then there is like the two big guns on the floor, some packs and uh, more helmets. So this is a weapons room, kind of, kind of just a display, a gallery of suits and weapons. Let's go now. There is another connecting companion way. We're gonna go here to the right wing. And this is the dining hall for the crew. This is, this is the dining just for crew members. So a couple of bar sitting areas and tables, you know, high end, nice looking tables. And because I treat my crew very well, there is another display of wines, some of the finest wines in the game. And then just displays and planters and paintings, just to just to fill some of the space, but still make it look a, a, a high end kind of like a restaurant kind of setting type of thing. And uh, this is all for the crew. So we come here, another companion way, and then here we reach the only one berth. It's two only one berths, two two by ones next to each other. Originally, the plan was to use the two by two brick and decorate that one. Unfortunately, there is a big glitch there where the empty one that remove everything, including the computer that you have to use to open the doors. So I don't know who was in charge of quality control, but damn, they really messed that up. Like they removed the, the, the one thing that is actually necessary for that hub to function. It's completely gone. So I ended up then doing instead two empty all-in-one berths 
and I put them together. It ended up working pretty well, actually. So we have plenty of beds and with the beds, I put the sleeping bag on top of it so that it looks more like a bed. By the way, shout out to viewer Caged. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly and for letting me know that you can actually do this put the sleeping bags on top of that like i i didn't know so big shout out thank you for that so it turned out pretty well you know it looks actually pretty nice and you have two doors now that opens up to the other side so it's not bad and on the other side i did the wall as well like in my captain's quarters so i did it the same and i added all those weapon displays but i probably not gonna put actually weapons there and there's a sitting area here and we did the same thing here with the bed here on this side there is a table here for breakfast for games for whatever and by the way there is another glitch here with the only one berth the two by one and where they forgot this time to remove something the blanket is there and when you try to put the sleeping bag here the entire texture gets clipped and it looks just awful so i just kind of left it like that so just an fyi when you're working on this so now we can go to the center this is the last half of the ship this is a two by three cargo hall it is empty and basically all open space and i turned this into a gaming room basically so we have three out of the four or five gaming tables and the pool table i really i really need to get more pool balls to put here because i only have three cue balls so it looks like uh, a lunatic is is playing pool here but uh but but yeah I, I don't know where to find them i probably have to look around and i try to get more of those so there's some sitting area here and oh man that's something so i'm gonna have to bring that up can i bring it up uh, uh let's see this see. okay there we go so go back okay there we go so there's a succulent and I have a display here with books, magazines, a lot of displays of those minerals, rocks. I really do like this sitting area where I have the porthole below. So this is always nice. I, I didn't want a coffee table in the middle. Instead, I wanted this so that, you know, when you're in space, when you're sitting, you can look down, see the planets, all the stuff, and then maybe uh, see something outside of this window as well. So that's what this is a big large gaming room oh and uh and the wings the corridors or the pathways i think so whenever i use one of these that goes side to side i do like to plaster it with posters it just it just looks better i think than just empty and same thing on the other side and you have plenty of posters now like 25 so all right that is basically the interior of the ship uh, the carpet, I didn't do anything. It's just a straw carpet. Nothing's changed here. I don't think it needs to. So there you have it. Not a combat ship, but just something cool, something chill, and something luxurious. So let's now do an overview of the ship. Before we continue, I just want to say what a beautiful community the players of Starfield is. Everyone is so nice, so helpful. So I'm really happy they're part of it. I also want to give a big shout out to Gothic Metal 669 for helping me with things that I did not know were possible in the game. So thank you. I really appreciate your time. And I want to thank everyone for your support with your likes when your subs. I do feel very lucky. And uh, anyway, so let's continue. Let's move on with the build. As you can already tell, this is a no ladder ship. Everything is flat. It is pretty wide and uh, kind of a low, really flat. It does have quite a lot of cargo space. So it's 13,000 something in cargo space. That is if you have the payload skill ranked all the way to four. But if it's just regular raw cargo space from the parts is 9,280. So it's pretty decent. This can be a cargo holder and you also have the maximum crew number of nine. You also have the 29 light years of jump range. Mobility is low, which is why I use only turrets in this build. And they work actually really well, considering that I only have two sets of weapons because I ran out of parts. 
I, I put too many portholes and I actually originally had even more portholes. I really wish Bethesda would not count the portholes as part of the limit of parts because they don't really add a lot of mass. If they're listening, if they're watching, please exempt portholes from the limit. I would like to have more windows. You know what? Let me change the color to a lighter color so you guys can see what's going on. The reason why I chose this all black is because it hides the imperfections better. It's not like it has a lot of imperfections, but it's just you can see everything, the parts a little bit too well, you know. Anyway, so this is how it looks. So it's a funky little design, very flat, really wide. I took it to Serpentis and it did really well, actually. I took almost very little damage, way less damage than when I do the shooting myself. What I'm going to do now, I'll have the shopping list of the unique parts on screen. The strategy, as usual, grab a ship that you want and replace those category parts with the corresponding one from the shopping list. Take all these to your own big landing pad and do the actual building there so that you can easily have access to all those structural parts. I have the ship now split into different sections. Uh, don't worry about any of this stuff that is on the side. We're going to focus on this section, which is the layer of the hubs. Once you have this done, everything else becomes just so much, so much easier. We can start from the from the beginning, from the cockpit, a two by one hub, and then Frank by two, two by twos. Then that attaches to another two by one. And here I have a hub spine that leads to a companion way. Then that leads to a three by one. And this is this is the this is basically the, the captain's quarters section. This was the kitchen, this was the conference room, and this is the battle station. That is the default design. This is the 2x3 cargo hold, the MT, and then behind that, another companion way that links to a half spine. I wanted to put a half spine because I did not want doors here. And this section is just two only one berth together. The other side is exactly the same, you know, so this is all exactly the same as on the other side. That is it. So once you get this all together, the way it is here, you're all set. You, we can go to the bottom now. For example, I have here, this is a straw cap A, you know, just, just for design, for looks. And I hit a uh, shell the cargo behind that. So same on the other side. Then I have a hope file landing here. I have quite a few of those, like a five. I have one here, you know, two on the side because they look good, honestly. I, I really like the look of it. And then I also have two more here at the back uh, next to the Nova landing gear. So I also have five Nova landing gears. So there's one variant here, and there is the other two variants here, and another two variants here. And again, below that, I also have another one of those straw cap A's. And here I am hiding the helium tank behind. So there's two of those here and here. Then I put a pole here. This is the pole where I have the sitting area around it. So there's just one here. I did not put another pole anywhere else. So it's just there. Then we have the landing bay and the landing bay goes up to the companion way. And then behind here, this companion way has the docker. And uh, what else? I think that is it for the bottom. We pretty much cover everything there. This is the most important part. So let's go to do one of the wings. This is one of the engines. And this is a structure, the tire mid cap, as well as the tire nose cap, right? So this is whole thing. And this whole thing just goes here. So everything will sit flash. By the way, I forgot to mention, I put a lot of pole holes. I had more at the beginning. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of them that goes in there. This is part of the wing. So we have some demos structure starting from the demo spine, the demos calling and the demos belly. And this whole thing goes in here. And this one goes in here, which has the turret on top of it. This is the PBO 300 Auto Alpha turret, one of the sets. And that goes in here. 
And that's pretty much it. The same thing on the other side. So that goes in there. And then same thing here, the same belly and the uh, structure that goes in there. And then this goes in here. So that is exactly the same. Now let's work on this one here. Let's grab this one. So just the straw cap A, then we also have the straw engine mount. And then I have two Galeon cargo holes. So these two basically, well, you know that this goes in here because it has to match the one below. Then this one will go here behind it. And then we have the two cargo holes that just go on top of the center hub right there. So same thing on the other side. You can just grab the whole thing and it comes here. And then these are just two structures, the Nova Coling and uh, another Nova Coling, the one L, the two L. And on top of that, I have the scan jammer. Since this is going to be a cargo hull, I might have, uh, you know, illegal stuff on it. And uh, this, goes, this goes in here, just slightly, just one space behind the other structures. This goes in here. This is this wing. This is the same as that, but without this thing. And then this wing, of course, goes in here, which is basically the same as the other. But instead of having cargo hull, I just have this thing behind. This is the hope take, hope take pipes. It's just to kind of finish, kind of nicely finish the this part here. And we have the same on the other side. That goes in there. And then the structure goes in here. So that is that is that. And the shell. Now the shell goes actually here. The shell just goes in here, and now we have the final part. So let's let's do it. Uh, let's do it. Let me see how is the best way to to guide you. Uh, I'm just gonna grab parts out of here and then move them here if that's easier. So there is the final cargo hull, which is the Galeon S40, and this one goes behind this shell. Then we can grab this. Um, let's see. I should probably grab, I should probably grab this, actually this, oh, oh, I hit another cargo hole here. So by the way, okay, so there's another cargo hole here. This is the cargo S203. So I hit it behind, below actually, the tire mid cap and the braking engine and the air engine. So let's, let's grab this and this goes in here. So this is there, you cannot put it anywhere else and behind everything sits flash. So we grab that. We're gonna grab the same one on the other side. So again, there's another cargo hole below and then structures on the rest and the engine. So that goes in here, perfect. And now we can bring in the, this is a radial, this is a structure, this goes behind the cargo hole and then the grab drive goes in here and the reactor goes in here so it's pretty easy because everything has to see flash otherwise you exceed the, the length we can just bring this part and that this part is a little bit forward uh, I think it's a little bit forward. Hold on. Let me let me try. Okay, let's put it forward. Let's put the engine behind. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit forward. And then this goes in here, kind of covers on top of it. So yeah, and by the way, there is no no glitch or anything in this build. So it's pretty, pretty simple. So does this look right? I feel like it doesn't. Hold on, I feel like this is here. Oh yeah, that's there and this is here. Oh, my mistake, my mistake, my mistake. So this, this thing actually doesn't go up in here. It actually goes here. It attaches to this piece. So yeah, there you have it. So because I am giving this a symmetric look, so yeah, I knew something was slightly off. So this threw me off. 
that goes in there so this goes behind so yeah otherwise yeah it looked a little bit too forward i thought that something was strange so yeah skip that so we're gonna fix that on the other side as well so this goes in here uh it aligns with this cargo hole and then this comes in here then this is the straw engine bracer this comes in here kind of covers basically covers the shield and then this engine the middle engine actually it's just the top not the actually yeah not this hold on this this is the this is the cargo hole this whole thing gets attached to the side of this coiling and then finally this engine comes here so there we go this is how it looks because it is asymmetric i didn't want them to be a uh, flash in the same level i wanted something a different look so yeah there we go now that is that is it that is complete and now we can double click you know everything and you can give it any color you like i went with the all black like all the way black so i'm gonna do that now we're gonna just change the color all the way black and there you have it so I think it looks it looks pretty decent. It looks pretty decent, something different. So that is the build. I hope this is a good build. I hope you guys like it, or at least maybe give you some inspiration, some ideas how you can modify or decorate your own ship. And please don't forget to like or subscribe. I never send out notifications when I upload, so I promise you, you will never get interruptions from this channel. Thanks for watching, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next one.